When your daughter says, Daddy, make me a pizza, will you come running down here and make her one? No, we make English muffin pizzas. That's what started all this. Are you kidding? No. But I ate those as a kid in the toaster. Yeah. Tomato sauce, English muffin, slab of mozzarella. Polio, and milk. string cheese. Yeah, yeah. That's how this began? Yep. With a toaster? Yep. When I opened, I opened with no experience. I never made pizza before. What happened? You just were making them and you said, I want to do this for a living? This used to be Louis Candy store. It was in their family for like 60 years. What happened was, every time I'd come by the store, it was closed. So I was like, bro, what's going on? She goes, Mark, we're not going to open anymore. And I was upset. The place meant a lot to me. I grew up in here. My dad used to bring me and my brothers here when we were kids. I don't know what made me turn around and tell her, uh -oh. bro, if things don't work out, bro. let me know. I'm interested in the store. An hour later. An hour? Mark, we hear you're interested in the store. And that's it. You never look it. back. Never look back. What do you think is the best pizza in Brooklyn? Blue Cali's by far. Blue Cali's, OK. Yeah. So you just stretch the edges. As it gets bigger, you lift it up, and you let gravity do its job. Oh, my god. I feel like we're in church. Yeah. Do you move all around? So I just let it fall in the middle. Come here, let me help you out. <laughs> Oh, I set you chef. up. I gave you the, the bad one. Did you? Yes. You gave me the dull grater? The dull grater. I'm a little embarrassed. Why? You made a better pizza than me. Um, you know how we do. A lot of amazing things have happened here, you know, over the past 10 years. Like what? All the people I've met, friends I've made. One time I had to spell out, will you marry me in mushrooms? They I just found no. out they moved away to California and that they just had a, their first kid. That's the sad part of the business. Like, you meet a lot of people, but for like every 10 people you meet, five leave. A lot of people are no longer deep rooted in this neighborhood. And you are? Yep. I'm a traditionalist. A tradition, wait. I'm a traditional, look. My Brooklyn accent prevents me from saying that word. I just want to keep making you say it. Traditionalist. Okay. <laughs> you want things to be the way they are. I don't think there's any reason to change it getting into the calzone zone, and you use the same dough. Yes. I, I just don't stretch it as thin. So salty pecorino mixed into the ricotta, and then you grate Parmigiano-Reggiano yes. over it, yeah. OK? This is so beautiful. So you know, you're going to see it'll puff up, and it become like a little hot pocket. You wait too long, the dough will get soggy again. Mother of pearl. Come on, let's go eat. Oh, I love it. All right. Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit, oh, look at this. What? I want to know what you think of your own pizza. It's not too shabby. This is so good. Thank and you. by the way, I'm not generally a calzone gal, but they're both amazing. Glad you enjoyed it. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby. 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 I loved hearing Mark's stories about the old neighborhood. And let's admit it, I made a better pizza than he did. That's fun, too. Click the links for more great food stories, and don't forget to subscribe.